Emmy, hey, guess what? I'm coming over to visit you right now. I've got to say hi to your lovely mom and dad. They're such wonderful people. You're at home too, right? You're not out doing something fun or exciting. Yeah, I'm home, but my brother is out. He's probably busy with work or something. Why did you suddenly decide to come and visit us? Did something happen? Oh, nothing happened. I just wanted to see you all. Because the wedding's coming up soon and I'm so excited. I wanted to say hi, have dinner, and maybe spend some quality time with you all. I wanted to say hi to you, too. You're my future sister-in-law, after all. Aren't I sweet, haha? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to get married. I'm going to quit my job and become a housewife. I'm going to cook and clean and take care of Anthony. Oh, you must be so jealous. I feel bad for people that aren't married. They have no purpose in life. Thanks to Anthony, my life is so perfect. Good for you. I'm happy that you and my brother are so in love with each other. But I don't understand why you think that I'm jealous. I'm not. Oh, come on. Don't lie to me. You're jealous because you're ugly and you've got no chance of getting married. You'll never be able to become a housewife like me. You'll never know the joy of having a husband who loves you and takes care of you. Do you want to know why? It's because Nobody will want you as a housewife, ha ha. You're too plain and boring and annoying. You have no skills or talents or hobbies. You have nothing to offer to anyone. Um, Maria, have you been drinking? You sound drunk. No, of course I'm not drinking. I'm not drunk. What are you talking about? I just had a little sip of tequila. That's all. It's not a big deal. It's just a little drink to celebrate my happiness. I thought so. You're usually loud and obnoxious, but you're not always this loud and obnoxious. Even you would think twice before saying something so rude and hurtful. And you must have been drinking quite a lot. You're slurring your words and you sound like a mess. What? Rude? Hurtful? Me? No way. I haven't said anything rude or hurtful. I just told the truth. The cold, hard truth. You can't blame me for saying something that everyone is thinking. Everyone knows that you're a loser who will never get married. Everyone feels sorry for you. Everyone laughs at you behind your back. Yeah... All right. Well, if you're drunk, you should go home and rest, instead of coming over here and spreading more of your lies. There's no reason for you to come and visit us this evening, so just stay at home. If anything, you'll just cause more trouble if you come over here drunk and end up making a scene or being sick or having to spend the night. It's best that you don't come. No, I'm going to. I've got to talk to you about something very important. Something very serious. I've got to make something very clear. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? I bet it's not even that important. I bet it's something stupid and trivial. No, it's not stupid or trivial. It's very important. It's about your future. I've got to tell you how you can find someone who will marry you. Or else you'll be alone for the rest of your life. You'll die alone and miserable. I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to become more attractive and interesting and likable. I'll teach you how to catch a man's eye and make him fall in love with you. I'll teach you how to be a good wife. I'll teach you everything. Uh, yeah. No thanks. I don't need your advice. I'm doing fine without it. 
I'm happy with myself and my life. I don't need a man to complete it. Besides, how do you even plan on getting here when you're that drunk? There aren't any buses running in the local area tonight. And you're going to regret spending money on a taxi in the morning. You'll have a huge hangover and a huge bill. Don't worry about that. I can get there without a bus or taxi. I have a better way. Wait a minute. You're not planning on driving here, are you? Maria, driving under the influence is a crime. It's way too dangerous. You could get yourself arrested. Or worse, you could get into an accident. You could hurt yourself or someone else. Maria, are you listening to me? Stay at home. Don't drive. Hey, Emmy, have you seen Maria anywhere? She said that she was going to go visit you and your parents, and then she just left. Yeah, I saw her, and now I'm in the hospital. What? What do you mean you're in the hospital? What happened? I'm lucky that I'm still alive. I've been in a terrible accident. What? Are you alright? Did someone hit you with a car? Yeah, someone did. And if you want to know who it was, maybe you should ask your fiancé. My fiancé? What are you talking about? You mean Maria did this to you? Yeah, she did. She ran me over with her car. You were in an accident because of Maria? I don't get it, Emmy. What's going on? That's why I'm telling you to go ask Maria yourself. I have no idea where she went after she hit me with her car, but I'm sure she's gone back to your place. You better catch her before she hurts anyone else. And find out what the hell is wrong with her. I just got a message from Maria's parents. They said that she's at their house sleeping. Seriously? I'm lying in a hospital bed hooked up to a morphine drip, and she's sleeping like a baby? You've got to be joking, right? I really don't understand what's going on. So I'm going to go to Maria's parents' house and try to figure it out. Message me the name and address of the hospital you're at and I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, I'm sorry for snapping at you. I'm really exhausted. So you don't have to come tonight. I'm going to sleep. So if you want to visit... Can you come tomorrow? Hey, Emmy. I'm really sorry about yesterday. I was a little tipsy. I don't even remember half of what I did. Can you believe it? How did you feel after that? Last night was so wild. <laughs> what are you laughing about? This is not a joke. I broke my arm because of you. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. But you're lucky you're still breathing. What? I was afraid it might be worse and that things would get a little tense before the wedding. But if it's just a few broken bones, then there's nothing for me to stress about. It's already bad enough. Because of you, I have to stay in the hospital for more than a week. I won't be able to go to work during that time. Oh, don't be so pessimistic. You should be grateful that it's just a broken arm. It could have been so much worse. Don't you realize that you're the one who's at fault? You were drunk driving and hit me with your car. You're the last person that's allowed to tell me that I should be optimistic about this injury and that I should be thankful that I didn't die. I can't believe your nerves. You have no right to talk to me like that. Yeah, yeah, you're angry, I get it. My parents are on their way to the hospital to see you. Your parents? What for? I'm not interested in seeing them. Well, you'll have to, whether you like it or not. They're going to get you to sign a disclosure. 
So you won't report any of this to the police? A what? A contract to get me to keep quiet? Yeah, it's going to be a disaster if you tell the police what really happened. So you've got to promise to keep it a secret, okay? You don't have any say in this, Emmy. I'm your brother's fiancé, and my parents are going to be his parents soon. So, you've got to do as we tell you. Wow. So you're going to put in the effort to hide what you've done, but you're not even going to try and make things right by saying a few simple words, by coming to see me in the hospital and see how I'm coping? Instead, you're sending your parents to do your dirty work. You should apologize to me. I think that's what normal people usually do when they injure someone. Are you actually being serious right now? This isn't amusing. You're not being adorable. I've actually sustained severe injuries after being run over by you. And you're acting clueless about the responsibility you have to me. Fine, so I hit you with my car. I take responsibility, but don't report this to the police. We're going to be family soon. Don't do anything that's going to spoil the mood on the wedding day. And it might make things awkward for us later. Don't you think that's a little too convenient? I'm a victim here. I should report you. But you're trying to make me out as the villain if I do. I feel like crap. I can't go to work. I'm going to have to pay these medical bills. What else do you want from me? Shouldn't you at least apologize sincerely? I think that's the first thing you should be doing. But apparently, you lack all common sense. You lack any sense of compassion for other people. I don't know what I should be apologizing for. It's not a big deal. It's not like I intended to hit you. I was drunk. You can't blame me for that. You just happened to get in the way of my car. That's life. Sometimes mistakes happen. If I wasn't drunk, I wouldn't have hit you. So it's not my fault. It's the alcohol. Why don't you understand that you shouldn't have been driving when you were drunk? You say it's the alcohol's fault. I told you not to come here. You endangered the lives of every pedestrian that was walking on the street while you were driving in your car drunk. I am definitely lucky to be alive, but you could have killed me. Oh, don't preach to me. I know that it's illegal to drink and drive, but I'm lucky too. You're lucky? What? How? I'm lucky that it was you that I hit with the car and not anyone else. If I had hit a complete stranger, I would be in a lot of trouble. You're pretty much family, so I can get away with it. Excuse me? We are not family. We are complete strangers. No, don't say that. We're going to be family. Anthony and I are getting married, remember? I'm glad that it was my little sister-in-law that got hurt, and not someone else. But I'm not happy about this at all. But now I know what your true colors are. I understand that you don't regret anything you did, and that you don't feel any remorse. Um, I heard that you sent my parents packing. Who do you think you are? Why would you do that? They went out of their way to visit you, and you refused to talk to them? I sent them away because I didn't want to see them. They were saying the exact same things that you were saying, about how I was lucky that it was just a broken arm, and that I shouldn't say anything to the police about who was driving the car. They were being just as absurd and selfish as you were. What? You're saying that I'm being selfish? We're family. You should be more cooperative to help us all. My parents only went to make sure that you would. Yeah, they said that. They told me that we're going to be family. So I shouldn't do anything that will create trouble for you and Anthony. Good. You understand? 
I'm really lucky that it was you that I hit, not someone else. We're going to be family, so don't do anything foolish. Aw, that's too bad. You're five minutes too late. What? Did you really think that I would just agree and follow your commands? You infuriate me, Maria. You don't seem like you're going to say sorry, ever. Not only that, your parents came and ordered me and my family not to go to the police and to settle this over negotiations. I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree after all. If your parents are like that, no wonder you turned out like this. How dare you? You're being impolite. You can't talk to your oldest sister like that. You're not my older sister. You're not married to my brother yet. And I'm obviously hurt by what's happened. I'm not just hurt. I'm enraged. And I'm going to send you to hell for what you've done. What? You're going to send me to hell? Don't you think you're exaggerating? What do you think you can do to me? I filed a report with the police. You're done for, Maria. Huh? You filed a report? Are you insane? You betrayed me. Even though we're family. What have you done? Like I told you, we are not family. And what have you done? That's my line. I can't believe you actually thought that you would get away with this. I did the right thing and reported what you did so that the police can take action to make sure it never happens again. I'm going to get the compensation I deserve. Maria, you better brace yourself. Brace myself? What are you talking about? Are you threatening me? No, I'm going to take you to court. I know a great lawyer and he's going to take my case. He'll make sure you regret you ever did anything so stupid. So what if you know a lawyer? Why should I be afraid of you? He's going to help me destroy you and your family and make you apologize for what you did to me. I'm going to tell the court that you were threatening me and trying to bully me out of going to the police, too. What? You can't do that. I wasn't threatening you. What are you even talking about? Do you really think that you can win this court case? I haven't done anything to go to court. It's not that hard to understand. You've done something unforgivable, and you're going to pay for it because you won't say sorry. Even my brother is saying that he's going to call off the wedding because he doesn't want to marry you now that he knows what you've done. What? Your brother? You mean Anthony doesn't want to marry me anymore? I don't have any other brothers. What did you say to him? You've turned him against me, even though I haven't done anything to deserve it. Haven't you gotten any other messages from him yet? He told me that he was going to call off the engagement just a few minutes ago. He was saying that he can't be family with someone who thinks it's acceptable to treat me the way you did. He doesn't want to spend the rest of his life with someone like you. Why? I thought he loved me. What did I do to make him despise me? I don't deserve this. You did all of this. You made him despise me. We just had an accident, that's all. What's the big deal? You only broke an arm. What else did you say to him? Just an accident? That's all? I think that's the reason why he doesn't want to be with you. You inflicted harm on someone, and you can't even apologize or recognize the pain and trouble you've caused. There is something seriously wrong with you if you think that's okay. If you lack the empathy to even feel sorry for what you did, then why would he want to be with someone who hurt his little sister? I'm surprised you managed to conceal that from him so well up until now. But now he knows. It's over. He can't cancel the wedding. 
It's impossible. Even you should know that. It's too late. The wedding is supposed to be next weekend. If he cancels now, only God knows what huge fee he'll have to pay. Would he really prefer to pay that fee than be with me? He can't do that. It's not impossible if he really doesn't want to marry you. You can't compel him to marry you. When he's clearly lost interest, he's decided that he can't go through with the marriage. So you'll just have to accept his decision. You can argue about it all you want, but I don't think anyone will fault him for not wanting to be with you. Not after they hear about you hitting me with your car while you were drunk and not even saying sorry. He was already appalled enough about that. But when your parents came into my hospital room and started ranting about me keeping my mouth shut, that really turned him off. I think it's only natural that this is what you get. He what? He was turned off? Yeah, he was disgusted. Literally, like two North and North magnets put together. I think anyone would reconsider having any kind of relationship with you after what you did. It's unbelievable that your parents would actually justify your actions instead of try and steer you on the right path. And do you seriously thought that I would automatically forgive you for what happened with no apology at all? Just because we were about to become family? You have got to be kidding. You even had the audacity to say directly to me that you were glad that it was me you hit and not a stranger. What is wrong with you? In what world is that okay? Okay, wait, wait. All right, I understand you want me to say sorry, right? Then I'll say sorry. If that's all it takes for you to forgive me, then fine. I'll apologize as much as you want. I'm sorry about what happened last night. I'm sorry it happened. I didn't mean for it to turn out like that. And I was drunk. So it's not really my fault, but I'm sorry. I apologize. So don't report me to the police, okay? It is way too late for that. And you can't go around putting conditions on your apologies. If you say sorry, you have to mean it. You can't expect me to forgive you just because you said sorry. And you certainly can't expect me to do something in exchange for it. Please, Emmy. I want to marry Anthony. I can't live without him. Please don't do this. You're tearing us apart. Is that all you have to say? So you still don't accept responsibility for what you've done and the effect it's had on your relationship? with my brother. That's not me. That's all you. A result of your own selfish behavior. You were saying that we'll become family when you marry my brother. But it's clear to all of us now that you're not good enough for him. You proved it to us. But now we're not going to accept you into our family. So give up on Anthony. Wait. You've got to talk to him. I want to get married to him. You've got to convince him that he's making a mistake. We belong together. I really want to be a part of your family. I want to be your big sister. I want us to have a fun life together. I'm sorry, but you're creeping me out. I don't want to be family with you. And I don't think we can have fun together. Anthony just sent me a message. He says that he's not going to marry me. He said that he wants to meet up and talk about the cancellation and whatever else. He's not going to change his mind no matter what I say to him. But I think that he'll listen to you. So you've got to talk to him for me. Tell him that there's been a misunderstanding and that we're actually really close. You just have to say that. And I think then he'll listen to me. What the... A misunderstanding? Did you really just say that to me? There's no misunderstanding. You hit me with a car, 
and I broke my arm. You didn't apologize. It's really simple. I told him the truth, and he made his own decision based off of that information. I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. And my brother and my parents are furious, so I'm ending the conversation. From now on, you'll have to make contact with me through my lawyer. He'll be calling you later. And I think that the police will be dropping by to question you too. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have to go that far. That's too much. It's not fair. I'm your brother's fiance. Can't you be a little bit more compassionate? You used to be his fiance. Not anymore. And why should I show you compassion when you didn't show me any after the accident? Even though I broke my arm and was in a lot of pain? You really are full of crap. You're just a stranger now, so I can happily report you to the police for the reckless driving you were doing while under the influence. You need to pay for your time for that, so you won't ever make that mistake ever again. Family or not, that's something that should never be forgiven. Especially if it could risk someone's life. You don't have to say that much, but I really am sorry. I feel really bad for what happened. I mean it. I promise. I just didn't say sorry because I thought it would be my loss if I did. I really regret what I did now from the bottom of my heart. My brother says that he doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And that he doesn't want you contacting him anymore. I hope that's helped you to understand how serious this is. But there's no point begging me for forgiveness now. You're not going to get anything back. I can imagine that your employers will find out about the trouble you've been in with the police. And you'll most definitely lose your job. Wait. You already resigned because you thought that you could relax and spend the rest of your life without having to work and use my brother for everything? It's a shame that you can't be a housewife anymore. It was your dream, wasn't it? It's all your fault! No. It's because of your inability to be a decent person. Do you remember saying that I can't get married because I'm too ugly? Well, I'm not one to brag, but I'm engaged. What? Since when? My fiancé's a lawyer. You'll meet him when we go to court. What? That's why you're finished. He's going to fight for me until we win the case together. You've been looking down on me ever since Anthony introduced you to us as his girlfriend but I'm going to get the last laugh. You're going to have to live an unfortunate life from now on. It's a shame that you can't be a housewife. And it's a shame that you won't be a part of our family. Too bad I sent that police report. In the end, Maria faced the ultimate rejection from Anthony and he called off the wedding plans and informed the guests that there would be no celebration. Maria was in a state of panic and kept on pleading with Anthony for them to have a conversation and to reconcile. But he completely shut her out and blocked her on all social media platforms. Emmy and her family filed a police report, and Maria's appeal for the matter to be resolved between the two families was denied. The story ended up being leaked online and garnered enough attention that it made the headlines. Maria's real name was plastered all over articles online, and they had no option but to relocate before someone discovered where she and her parents resided. It really seemed like her life was ruined. Fortunately for Emmy, her injuries weren't so severe, and she was able to leave the hospital a month later and married her fiancé. Maria lost her fiancé and tarnished her own reputation because of her lack of good sense. 
Apparently, she is struggling to figure out how to deal with her problems and get her life back in order.